Hey, what's up guys, Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 19 of Skilling to Glory. Apologies for uh, no episodes over the weekend. Um, as you do know, on Friday, the EA servers were down for most of the evening. And um, yeah, I was streaming during the day, and unfortunately ran into some problems during the stream, and also um, with some of the recording, which um, I managed to somehow recover some of it uh, by um, recording some stuff from the actual stream. So um, yeah, you will see some uh, different type of uh, gameplay kind of footage, I guess you could say, uh, throughout the video. But um, yeah, hopefully it will be clear for you guys. Of course, in this video, we will be playing some Weekend League once again. Going to be showing you guys my first 10 games. And um, yeah, at this point, the Weekend League is almost over. I think you have, uh, you have one more night to play your game. So let me know how um, your Weekend League went. And um, yeah, if you've already finished, let me know as well uh, what uh, kind of rank you achieved. So, um, as always, of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop a like. Would be very much appreciated. Show your support on the series. And uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well for more videos. And check out my Facebook page as well, as that is uh, where I've been streaming Skilling to Glory for uh, quite some time already. So uh, make sure to follow me on there. And um, yeah, as I said in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my first 10 games of skilling to glory now um the team we came up against was i think a pretty solid team he had like the likes of bale uh, i think royce and also uh, leroy sane so a pretty tough team but um somehow i managed to play well against this guy score some nice goals as well including this one uh the ball roll sombrero one of the best skill moves this year in the game i um, actually uploaded a, tut a tutorial about that skill move on my youtube channel yesterday so check it out if you have not already um, should be a playlist in the description down below, as always, to uh, all the tutorials, basically. So uh, in the middle of the screen as well, in the bottom, you can see a, um, a kind of a graphic where it shows uh, what the record is and also how many goals uh, we have scored. So if you guys want to see that with like every single uh, Weekend League highlights video I do um, with Skill into Glory, then let me know as well, because it's something I do uh, during the stream, basically, to kind of, um, you know, see... Um, how many goals we've scored, but also see how many goals we've actually uh, conceded to uh, maybe improve uh, improve my gameplay on that part. But um, yeah, in this game, we also started off well with an uh, early goal. Then in the 33rd minute, we picked up a penalty, and I have to say, penalties this year, they are not my um, yeah, they're not my best way of actually getting goals. Even though they should be quite easy, uh, I've missed fair few. Um, so we won that game, another rage quit, and then I ended up losing the game nine to one. Which, um, yeah, some of the gameplay unfortunately was corrupt with um, uh, to, due to like the recording and also the stream messing up. Messing up. So, um, yeah, I lost one game 9-1, to one, which was, I know, like, sometimes you just have to take your losses, you know. But um, these games were played on Friday and it's something I'm going to consider as well for the upcoming weekend leagues. To maybe not play on Friday anymore or maybe play during the evening. Because as I said, I played these games during the afternoon. And most of the time, whenever you play on Fridays, you just come up against, um, you know, just random people that um, can reach any rank, basically. You might even play against some top 100 players or top 200 it is this year. Elite 1 players. And, um, yeah, that, you know, definitely kind of um, screws you over in terms of getting your certain rank. And also getting you started off uh, well with the weekend league, which it definitely did for me. Um, I, uh, I faced against some pretty good opponents on Friday and also against some opponents, which, you know, I was able to, uh, to beat easily. So um, yeah, it was um, a bit of a mix between uh, some, some bad gameplay moments for myself, but also some very good ones. Because um, you can see from this game already that after 60 minutes, we were already up 5-1 after we just lost the game uh, nine to one. So <laughs> it, was, it was a bit strange, but, um, yeah, you can see here as well where we picked up another penalty. This time we do miss it though with uh, with Memphis. And um, yeah, from a corner, we did manage to get himself the goal anyway. A bit of a volley there with the inside of his foot. Uh, getting another goal with him. You can see from the final stats as well. Like I said, the, the, the kind of, I don't know, the, the games on Friday didn't um, just reflect how... It usually would go on weekend, on weekend league, I think. Anyway, at this point, we uh, had three wins, one losses, and uh, we came up against a solid side as well. He starts off uh, getting the goal there with Marcus Rashford. And then uh, straight from kickoff, we uh, went on a little run here with Memphis. Again, making good use 
of the directional nutmeg, but you can see one player there uh, as his defender, Virgil van Dijk. He was a complete pain to play against. I seriously just could not get past him. He was like a brick wall, basically. Uh, I'm not fully sure who he had alongside him. It could be Davison Sanchez. But um, yeah, his defense was just, uh, you know, just on point. It was just very difficult to beat, uh, to beat, basically. And then we can see the shitty goal here as well, where um, he, he takes a shot from the back line, basically. Courtois uh, buries it into our own net. And we were 2-0 down. And you could have seen briefly as well from the halftime stats that we did not create a single chance in the first half. So I needed to change something in the second half. Made some changes. We got a goal with uh, Di Maria. And um, yeah, from that goal, he decided to just time waste and, you know, play it around the back. Like, I guess it's it's fair enough. But um, yeah, when, um, when you're like that late in the game, I guess, in the 80th minute, I don't know, you know. It's a bit of a, a pussy tactic, I feel, but I sometimes see myself doing it as well. Although I don't necessarily like to, uh, you know, play it around the back to just secure the win. But you can see from the stats that he was the better player. And he, he was mostly playing on possession as well during that game. So it wasn't really needed on his side. But um, yeah, ended up losing that game. Despite, uh, I think, getting a big chance as well towards the end. Which I think I just should have played out better. Then we came against a team with 87 chemistry. And um, yeah, after that, a little bit of a frustrating loss. I thought, you know what, this win should, should uh, you know, be secured. Because some players were off chemistry. Um, yeah, he, he had not like the full cam either. So yeah, we started off well as well with uh, some good chances. But I noticed that my players, you know, were not playing well. I was kind of um, just messing up some, some, some chances, which I usually convert. And then the 45th minute, we can see the rebound goal, the 1-0, which was literally his first chance. And then the second half, 78th minute, he does get himself another goal with Rodrigo, which I, I couldn't get my head around how this one went in. I first thought that the shot got a deflection, but it didn't. It, it, the shot barely had any power, and he made it 2-0, and then this is just your typical FIFA BS goal where... You intercept the ball, the ball falls back to him. You intercept the ball again, the ball once again falls back to him. And he scores. And we end up losing this game 3-0. Also, this guy uh, did get himself back into the game massively in the second half. And um, yeah, he also liked to play in possession a lot. And for whatever reason, my players just felt really sluggish. It almost felt that my players were playing basically on uh, off chemistry compared to his players actually wearing, uh, or being on off chemistry, even though they played very well. So... Yeah, again, a very frustrating uh, loss there on our side. And at that point, we had um, kind of screwed up our record. Three, uh, three wins, three losses at that point. And then uh, we came up against this side as well, where uh, we missed up a chance in the beginning. But then from a corner, it was Ramos, I believe, who got himself the goal. And then in the 37th minute, a little bit of a... Uh, Bit of a, you know, attempt there with Memphis, the chip shot. Maybe a little bit too optimistic, but um, yeah, easy save for the keeper. And then right there, not a big chance with Memphis, which I think should have been a goal. But then we do get the goal nonetheless from the corner immediately with Sergio Ramos. Once again, his second goal in this game. I've said it quite a few times in this, uh, in this series that uh, Ramos um, isn't the fastest defender, but um, he's definitely one of the better defenders in terms of like corners and uh, getting some goals for your team. Then unfortunately, um, somewhere in the 60th minute, the, the stream decided to lag massively, which also caused uh, some problems with the recording. Uh, we were 3-0 up at this point, but this goal, I just wish I could have shown to you guys um, with better gameplay because it was such a nice finish. Hopefully you can sort of see still what is happening. But um, yeah, after some nice play, I was uh, I did beat the goalkeeper with Firmino. You can see here that I went um, into the replay mode as well after I turned off the stream and uh, starting uh, recording this bit again. So my uh, great skills, he still kind of rushed for his goalkeeper. Then ball roll sombrero, the goalkeeper didn't even react. And then a volley to her goal. And uh, yeah, a nice finish as well to end off this game or to end off that game. Just a shame that uh, I wasn't able to show you guys um, that, uh, that goal. Um, like from, from the normal gameplay kind of point of view. But anyway, we came up against, we came up against a uh, Premier League team in a 4-4-2 formation. Pretty solid team as well with, I think, Richarlison and also Gabriel Jesus. And um, also in this game, in the beginning, we had a couple chances. I think one with uh, Dembele and also one with Memphis where I wasn't able to get like a proper shot in. But then 20th minute, Firmino there. Pass it to Memphis where I, I guess I just should have taken a first touch, do a skill move, and probably scored. Uh, then here, another huge chance, which usually just flies into the top corner whenever 
I'm in a situation like that, but um, for whatever reason, uh, we, we just shoot it wide with Memphis. Uh, the 78th minute, he has the ball here with Zaha on the left-hand side. Managed to beat Walker there with a nice fake shot. And then this happens. I want to clear the ball away with Frankie de Jong. But for whatever reason, he just held back. Like, I, I did like a clearance with, I think, Circle. But for whatever reason, you were able to see it from the replay as well. It almost looked like he did a fake shot. So, yeah, there was some, uh, yeah, there was some uh, weird stuff happening. Some uh, suspect stuff. And then from um, kickoff, I went on the run. And you can see that also this guy just really liked to play it on possession. Um, I did set a lot of pressure on him, though, which uh, kind of made it difficult for him to maybe find some spaces. Therefore, he maybe passed it around a lot. But it was just your typical yeah, possession player, which, again, I couldn't really create much uh, against, which uh, is uh, most of the time the case anyway when I, get, when I play against those type of players. So, again, another loss. A 1-0 loss, I believe that was. And then we went into the final game of the episode. I believe at this point we were, I think, um, four wins and or five wins and four losses i believe uh i'm not too sure actually or actually four losses or four wins three losses i'm not sure what the record is currently but um yeah we came against a pretty solid side as well scored a really nice goal with wijnaldum a lovely rabona finish then he gets himself back into the game uh, pretty much straight after with richardson a header and then into the second half we uh, got ourselves another goal a very cheap goal with firmino the ones you just hate to concede but you know, you sometimes you score them uh, yourself as well. And then from a free kick, we get ourselves another goal, the 3-1 with Memphis, where he decided to put a player on the line. I think it was uh, Kimpembe. But despite that, we still managed to uh, find the back of the net. Nice finish there from the Dutchman. And then in the 90th minute, he get himself another goal back there with Gareth Bill, where Ramos just completely gets bullied off the ball there. And um, yeah, my opponent got himself back into the game quite late. But you can see from the stats as well. It was pretty even, although he had quite a few shots. Only three of them were on target. But um, it felt like an even game anyway. So this is actually the final game of the episode. At this point, our record was, I think, five wins, four losses. So um, yeah, this was the 10th the game, basically, of our first weekend league highlights. And uh, we started off well, an early goal. And then in the 10th minute, he has the ball that went Adama Traore. I tried to push him off the ball, but he's just too strong. And then some great um, yeah, zigzag dribbling there from Timo Werner, which uh, put my opponent uh, level there, makes it 1-1. And then 18th minute, it was Mares time. This little Algerian, I guess you could say, magician just um, played amazingly from the 18th minute onwards because I actually scored a hat-trick with him. And I think this is the quickest hat-trick I've ever scored on FIFA. Um, so uh, yeah, we almost lost the ball there with Firmino, we have the ball with Wijnaldum, play it to Mares, feint forward and turn twice, we do Gomez there completely, then a lovely finish off the post and in, making it 3-1, and um, you can see from the replay that this skill move is such an effective one when executed right, completely did Gomez there, and then once again on his uh, strong left foot, a tidy finish off the post and in, making it 3-1, and as I said, we would end up scoring a hat-trick with him. And um, it only took us six minutes to convert his hat-trick. A little chip there with his weaker foot, making it 4-1. And uh, as I said, I think this is the quickest hat-trick I've, uh, I've ever scored in any FIFA game, uh, from what I can remember anyway. Uh, then a good, ch good chance there from my opponent. Very big save from Courtois as well. Where from that, we went on the counter immediately. He got a bit unlucky there with uh, Sanchez there where um, he got a bad first touch. We set pressure on him with Memphis and uh, we were able to uh, make it 5-1 from a chip shot as well. That's some bad defending from my side where I just should have cleared it out there with Ramos. And then from that he was able to make it 5-2 with uh, Timo Werner. And at this point we were still in the first half and we would once again get ourselves another goal. This time with Memphis to make it 6-2. So... I know it's 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 common to score a lot of goals in FIFA 21, but um, we were still the first half. Once again, 45th minute, Memphis there on the ball. Uh, we played on to Roberto Firmino. I thought he was going to tackle me from behind, but nicely done there with the drag back and Hocus Pocus, which we sort of cancelled there. And then um, we make it 7-2, so nine goals in one half. Crazy, crazy stats. Uh, then in the second half we go, a lovely pass there to Dembele where I tried to let the keeper, but um, yeah, I already kind of calculated that if we didn't like get past the keeper, we probably would get a penalty, which we got. We uh, converted it with Memphis to make it 8-2. 
Then once again Memphis there uh, linking up the play there with Dembele. Then we find Wijnaldum who then finds on his turn Riyad Mahrez. Where I wanted to actually do right there a sombrero flick but messed it up. Did the heel flick there. And then we once again got ourselves another penalty. Which we once again converted as well with Memphis Depay. So 9-2 it was. I think we're already on a hat-trick as well with the Dutchman. And um, yeah, we were very close getting the 10th goal. Which I really want to score desperately here with Depay. Which you can see we do right there in extra time of the game. Where we do make it 10-2. And that's how that game ended. And also that's how the final game ended of our um, first kind of 10 games of the weekend league. During the stream, it was an absolute mess as I had to, I think, restart the stream like five times. But um, after all, after I've edited this video, I think it actually turned out to be a pretty uh, pretty decent video for you guys to kind of show you guys uh, what actually happened in the first 10 games. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video as well, let me know how your weekend league went. If you're still playing, good luck. And um, yeah, as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you, of course, did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell as well for more videos. And uh, check out my Facebook page as well, fb.gg slash kazooie94. There's a link for you guys in the description down below. Anyway, that's the end. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.